No, no. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let me get y'all closer to me so we can talk. Let me tell you how my week has been. It was eventful, for sure, definitely. <laughs> On Monday, I arrived to my Airbnb. Tuesday was my first day at my new job. The hospital that I'll be working at for the next three months is a trauma one hospital. The last hospital I actually worked at was a trauma one hospital. It's like a good 10 minutes from Chicago, so you can only imagine, right? These are the hospitals that severe and crazy cases go to such as car accidents gunshot patients stabbings these are the hospitals that you have to be on top of shit okay and let me tell you i had a great week everyone there all the employees there have been great to me they're all very respectful very welcoming very nice and this is actually a smaller department than what i'm used to it's actually the smallest department that i've ever worked at in SPD. Now on Wednesday, after work, I went to McDonald's. I get off at 11.30 p.m. so I'm at the McDonald's drive-thru around midnight. I've always worked second shift so I'm used to these late hours at drive throughs But what I've noticed about my area in Michigan, these lines are long. You would think it's daytime. I'm talking about Taco Bell, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, the lines are long. I don't know what everybody's doing, but on Wednesday, I went to the McDonald's. I ordered my meal. I go to the first window to pay. I hear the employee through the window talking a whole bunch of shit through her headset. You racist motherfucker and blah, 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 blah. I don't know, she said a whole bunch of shit. All of a sudden, the truck behind me, big black truck with a white man in it, okay? And this man looks scary. He looks like one of those motherfuckers that carry rifles in his truck, okay? You get what I'm saying? Redneck type. This is me at the window. There's a car in front of me, in line. And this black truck is supposed to be behind me, but he decides to come beside me. So the car behind him is now behind me. So basically, I'm boxed in. Okay, I'm boxed in, I have nowhere to go. So this guy in the black truck is talking shit to the employee and the employee is talking shit back to him i don't know what the fuck is going on i'm in the middle and in the area that i'm at is not a good area and i know this already i wasn't scared i'm not afraid to die but i want to know if this is going to be my day is this my day <laughs> is this my is this my day to go so they're going back and forth talking a whole bunch of shit i take out my camera to film this truck now he's no longer beside me he drove up to the second window and now he's beside another car talking to the manager because the manager was talking shit to the employee saying shut up, shut the fuck up, don't say nothing else. Trying to calm down the situation. They're still, they're still sitting there so I'm just recording just in case. I don't care about that man, that man ain't gonna do shit to me. And if you got a problem, listen. Damn, that's listen, crazy. Look. You got a problem? Mm hmm Now when she was telling me to look, she was showing me that she had a pistol. <laughs> she had a motherfucking gun in her pocket. And she was showing it, she showed it to me like this, okay? She showed her, she showed me the handle and put it back like that. Okay, good. Right, beat your ass. Cause you mad, you mad yeah. about the chicken sandwich. Yeah. And then you being rude, talking about some what did y'all serve? And I said we're not serving chicken or fish. Yeah. We serve everything else. Well, I wanted to. I ain't got shit to do with that. Every time we come, we don't start chicken or fish. Over, <laughs> over a sandwich, he's over pissed off. Sandwich. That's crazy. You finna get fucked up over a sandwich. That's crazy. You not finna talk to me like that. You not finna yeah. call me niggas. You not finna call me black bitches either. Right. You done lost your motherfucking mind. He looks. He looks psycho I'm too. Here, tell, bitch. What you gonna do? Tell. Yeah. Well, I'm just recording just in case he does something stupid. What the fuck you gonna do? Tell. Because you call me black bitches, you yeah. didn't wash your motherfucking mind. Yeah. I ain't rude to nobody unless they rude to me. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, you had to do what you had to do, huh? Shit. I would too. This is why people quit. Yeah, I get this it. Is why, this is why people quit. Because I get you it. Because like that. Yeah. Especially black people. Yeah, I get it. Up. She was protected, okay? That was Wednesday. Thursday, I worked my shift, got off work, on my way to the parking lot to my car, and all you hear is psh, 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 psh. <laughs> You just hear gunshots, yo. Oh my god, this shit, this shit crazy. And now we roll over to the motherfucking weekend. All week, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna focus on work and come home and get some rest. But the weekends, though, 
The weekend is a little different. Every weekend is my vacation time. I'm in a whole new different state. I have so many things to explore, so many things to see, people to meet. I wanted to go get some breakfast, but before I did that, I had to look around my room and look for the things that I might need. I figured, okay, I don't want to pack too much in my luggage, right? So I'm not going to get the full-size shampoo. I'm not going to get the full-size deodorant, lotion. I got travel size to fit in this bag. I still suggest that you do this whenever you take long trips and you need to stop at a hotel and you don't want to use what they provide for you. You can always bring this inside your hotel. But if you're going to make trips like these where you're going to be somewhere for months at a time, wherever you lay your head at, buy full size items. That travel size ain't going to work. My mouthwash. I've only been here for a week. It's going to be gone. My travel size toothpaste. Look at it. Uh, you think it's going to last me three months? Nope. There's this size, which is too big. This one here is half a size. Let me explain to y'all. This is Listerine, right? Same size, the store brand. Now, if you look in the back side of the ingredients, it's got the same shit. Pay less for the same thing. So I wanted to start my day with some breakfast. I went to Starlight's Coney Island. A lot of the locals told me all about it, so I went. And I had me an omelet and hash browns. Mm. Thank you. And it was not your typical breakfast. Two employees went at it. She's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm fucking leaving. And then you hear the manager say, not in front of the customers. <laughs> the fuck is going on? So I'm going to continue my day. It's early. The day is young. And I want my boy Gizmo to come and enjoy the day with me. We'll be walking on Michigan's Iron Bell Trail. Waterfalls are actually called Stepping Stone Falls. Beautiful, a sight to see. That was my week. Eventful, crazy, psychotic, <laughs> exciting, calm and relaxing. And now I'm here chilling. Chilling like a motherfucking villain in the back, in the backyard of my Airbnb. I have tiki lights that I can light up here, but I don't wanna do all that right now. I just wanna chill. You enjoying your weekend vacation? I'm glad, baby. My goal in life is to be happy. Not to be just comfortable or content, but to actually be happy and enjoy life for as long as I can. And if you guys wanna follow my journey, I did create a playlist. Both my hands are busy right now, but <laughs> it's right there in the corner, right over there. Just click onto it. That's the playlist of my videos. You can come along with me to my pursuit of happiness. And I hope y'all enjoy my videos because I do take time to create these videos. It's not just filming saying hello. I'm letting you in in my life and I'm doing it in a creative way. And I hope you guys really appreciate what I do. And I, I just really hope you like my videos. If it impacts you in some way, show my videos to somebody. Get them to, get them to subscribe, get them to watch me. Before I left, I had a, ah, uh -uh, Gizmo, this way. Come here now. Come here. Don't go that way. Thank you, baby. Thank you. I actually want to show you something. I had a best friend for 19 years. This is her right here. She passed away at the age of 31 or 32, I don't remember. Just a few years ago, she has two sisters. And before I left, they gave me this camera to take pictures. 
I am not a picture person. You can tell from my Facebook and my Instagram, I rarely post pictures, especially of myself. I don't do selfies. It makes me uncomfortable. I'm so happy they got me this type of camera. It's a Fuji Instax mini camera. When I, whenever I take the picture, it comes out right away and it develops. What I like about these pictures is that it's so old school. I just love the look of the photographs. I do enjoy documenting my life through video, but now I can have a photo album that looks badass <laughs> with these pictures. So thank you to my best friend's sisters. I'm using it, girls. I'm using it. All right, y'all. I'm gonna stop it right here. I'm gonna finish my glass of wine and I'm gonna edit. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next vlog. Peace.